The city's top health official declared a public health emergency today. Dr. Virginia Kane is proposing a needle exchange program aimed at slowing the alarming spread of HIV and also hepatitis C. She says doing so will save lives and money. Rich Van White is on the story. Well, rampant drug use and the use of users using each other's dirty needles, according to Dr. Kane, has created an epidemic, one that is enormous cost in terms of health care dollars and lives lost. Giving drug addicts new clean needles in exchange for their used contaminated ones. Such a program is medically necessary and it will save lives. Got a standing ovation from a crowd of health care providers, city leaders, first responders, faith groups, community groups, and others battling the epidemic of drug use. That is putting Indianapolis in a public health emergency. Last year, Indianapolis hospital emergency rooms treated more than 52,000 drug overdoses. There were 287 drug overdose deaths. The increased use of IV drugs and the sharing of dirty needles is blamed for a 1,000% increase in hepatitis C cases and an alarming jump in new HIV cases. Needle exchange programs are controversial. Opponents insist they enable drug addicts and increase drug use. Dr. Kane insists research proves otherwise. This has been one of the most effective programs getting folks into treatment and keeping them drug free for extended periods of time. In addition to clean needles, users would be given access to health care and a variety of other social services. City Council President Bob Ossoli calls the program a no-brainer. This program will save taxpayers and health care providers millions. But more importantly, it will save lives. Osley told me he believes he has the votes to get this through the city county council. A vote could come as earlier as next month. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we talk to a young woman, a woman who is a recovering addict, to see what she has to say about how a needle exchange program would help save lives in Indianapolis.